Good morning everybody. We're trying the five horsepower on the Ucali for the first time. Let's see how it goes. Yes. I'm not really seeing those bars really are stabilizing. I'm not seeing any flex at all so far if we're not running. Let's see what happens, man. Forgot my extension. All right, give her a little gas. We got, of course, we got to take all these rods down. I think we're about right. No flex. No flex. Is he stressing it? I don't know. We'll run her here in a second and see how she does. to get on top. All right, that's wide open. So it's it wants to jump on top, but it won't it won't jump on top. It's just raising the bow. So so what the five's going to do is just going to give you more power into the wind. It's you're not going to be able to jump up with it. It's going to give you more torque for the putt putt. So that nose is kicking up unless Teresa sits on the very bow. wide open you can't get on top but it does have more torque for pushing transom is not flexing we're in some uncharted territory this morning folks about a mile and a half to oh right there at the boat two miles deeper than we've ever been <laughs> the specs are back here <laughs> i can hill him <laughs> that was a thousand little ones in here Oh, they're like a big one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll stop now. Shoot, we just weren't getting no hits. I was trying to get back to the to the mouth. Getting bigger. They're hitting right at the boat, too. This is some uncharted territory, people. Nobody for miles, we're all alone. That's a small one. Another dinker, dude. There's a thousand, thousand small trout in here. Changed the hooks out on that guy. We ain't straightening the hooks today. Somebody got up early, had a rough night. Oh, you've been sleeping, lady. That might be a red. Oh, I don't know. I think it's a big trout. Yep, it's a trout. Oh, it's a big one, too. I need to stake off. Will you stake off and hold us in place for a second? Oh. sides on this boat and you can really slide them up.
changed out the hooks on this sexy dog junior because uh, Teresa straightened one on a bull red I'm sure mm -hmm. and uh, look got some more, put some torque on them these fish have leeches on their on their chin from this being in this mud well that was quite the take wasn't it I thought it was a red fish I did too <laughs> they're aggressive man even the little ones are aggressive uh oh what do we have here eggs and spinach two thumbs up saw a tail Oh, I see his breakfast. Wow, honey, that was a big blow up. <laughs> now we're staying on this bank line. I got a big alligator. He's 350 yards and looks big at 350, cutting across the lake. It's got to be an alligator. And that was a big smash. I'm going to stake out. He's going to pull us right into the bank. Yeah. You ain't going nowhere. Oh. So you got that 15. Still the slime back there. No. Oh, he went down? Yeah, it's gone. Awesome alligator. Hmm. Sure. He just disappeared as a gator. Yeah. He was floating high. He was big. In my blood. We got a dink double. Man, I don't want to fly through this. We need to stake out. Oh, I got a red. First red of the day right there. He's small, but he's a red. There's a lot of bait stacked in there. In there. Oh. <laughs> Look at him. It's like Spanish it's aggressive. Like Spanish, when Spanish start away. You got him team casting. There's a big school of bait out here. It looks like glass minnows, tiny, like a cloud of bait. That is a good fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice one, honey. Ooh, that's a nice trout, honey. Throw the tail. Good job. Thank <laughs> you. Wow. That's a good fish. Mm. Oh, down, we're gonna mess around and limit out on trout back here. I thought we I thought we were coming for redfish here. 17. Yes. Yeah. I was thinking. This oh. guy ain't over 17. He's about 15, 16. Well, it looks good. It's hot and sultry, huh? There we go. That's a more better fit. Now, he might be a keeper there. That's going to be a keeper. All right. Doubled up, doubled up. Man, this is an epic trout morning, people. Epic trout morning. Get him in this boat. Get in the boat. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, no. oh, oh. Man, girl, I thought you lost my fish. Well, honey, you ready to run in? Yeah. It's slick calm, dude. I could fish in this all day, but we've got some stuff to do this evening. It's been a great morning. We got into the trout thick. Holy smokes. How did you feel about the five? It went faster. Will it handle it? Yeah, I mean, it looks like it handles it just fine. Not really flexing or moving. No. Definitely still no torque on the transom at all with the five. Looking solid. One thing I did notice is when I open it up with the five, when I get it wide open, we don't get on plane, the nose just lifts. And then the back end will break away and they'll straighten up and they'll break away and straighten up break away. I don't know why it's breaking away, whether my load is not distributed right or what, but that is one thing I've noticed with the more power. We'll see how she does. Look, I got trees on the note on the bow. You definitely have to have weight up front. Maybe a long gas line and the tank up front. And a person. <laughs> 